All right, what's this one? Five plus five plus five plus five. Oh. Good, a couple of you like we're saying it in unison. This is fibrous hamartoma of infancy. At low power, this is important. At low power, you could think, oh, fat trapping, dermatofibrous sarcoma protuberans. That has a honeycomb pattern, doesn't it? And that's a, a potential pitfall here. But one thing I like about this is it's a nodule, but like, where's the center? Like, it doesn't really have like, DFSP usually has a central nodule, and then at the edges, it invades the fat, right? But it arises from a central you know, one or multiple central nodules. This is this haphazard kind of patchwork of spindle cell and collagen areas and fat all mingled together with some blood vessels and other stuff trapped up in there too. So to me, that is really helpful. And then I'm gonna show you a different example because this one's a little faded, but, and they're usually in kids, you know, one, two, three years old, four years old, and they're often on the trunk, like the chest or the axilla. Here's a really nice one. That's, that's got a better coloration to it. And same thing, see? It's kind of this haphazard mixture of stuff. And then there's three components, right? Number one is fat, mature fat, easy, okay? Number two, fascicles of bland fibroblastic spindle cells. They're running in these very nice parallel fascicles, almost like the fascicles you see in fibromatosis, although not nearly as wide. And then the third thing, the thing that's the most helpful is these little balls of a bluish, round to spindle cells with kind of a variable amount of myxoid background. We call this immature mesenchyme because it's kind of primitive looking. It doesn't look like any normal mature uh, tissue type. It's like, we don't know what those are, I guess. That's the way I, I think of it. So, it's something, I guess, like looks like fetal or embryonic. I guess someone uh, um, named it for that reason. I don't actually know the history of, of how it was named that. But in any case, these little balls of spindle cells, often with a blue or gray background, that's the key. So finding those in there, that helps you to know, oh, this is not DFSP or other things. There's another entity called lipofibromatosis, which we don't have time to go into, that looks pretty similar to this sometimes, but doesn't have those little um, uh, primitive mesenchyme balls. So there you go. Fat, fascicles of fibroblasts, and immature mesenchyme, fibrous hamartoma of infancy. Okay.